Performing anterior B-scan with the LXI cubed. Performing high resolution 40 MHz B-scan of the anterior segment with the LXI cubed is easy, fast and accurate. The first step is to ensure that the 4 MHz probe, the orange connector, is connected to the I cubed and to turn on the system. The patient screen is displayed. Type a patient ID and click enter. With an existing patient, the previously entered data will automatically display. Entering a new patient ID prompts the user to answer yes to creating a new patient. As an alternative, the system can automatically generate a new patient ID. See option in the general tab under utilities. The new patient data can then be entered, followed by clicking save. Check that the patient information is complete on the summary screen. To begin an examination session, you must select the examiner as well as the physician ordering the exam. At times, the examiner and physician will be the same. A default examiner and physician may also be selected. At this point, it is possible to add a suspected diagnosis that will be saved in the patient's file. Click Begin Session to start the examination. The 40 MHz probe is open and the transducer is visible. The probe can be used in several ways. This configuration is for use with the clear scan bag. The bag is filled as shown with distilled water and the probe is inserted. The bag should be taut but not hard. It must follow the contours of the eye. Put some tear gel on the bag to improve transmission of the ultrasound. With a scleral shell, the 40 MHz probe tip must be changed. Anesthetic drops are applied to the eye and the shell is placed between the eyelids. Balanced salt solution, or BSS, is poured into the shell. The operator holds the probe immersed in the BSS, but taking great care so that the transducer does not come in contact with the cornea. This method can be used for axial examination, more particularly for ICL sizing. Choose the eye to be examined by clicking on OS for the left eye or on OD for the right eye. Choose the scan mode, anterior B-scan, by clicking on the second pictogram. Press the foot switch or F11 and the probe starts to scan. Here the probe marker is a silver screw which shows the left side of the screen to help orientate the user. The image is displayed as a vertical scan. Each time the pedal is pressed or F11 is pressed to stop the scanning the eye cube remembers the last 20 seconds or 250 frames. The operator can then go back frame by frame using the mouse or by turning the second black knob on the front panel to re-examine the different aspects and images of the pathology at their desired pace. The 250 frames can also be played as a movie. On the eye cubed, the gain can be adjusted after the picture has been frozen to better visualise the pathology in terms of its surroundings. It is possible to add a vector to the B-mode image. The vector can be positioned anywhere on the image and displays one of the 250 scanning lines as an A-scan. This line can help ascertain if the scan is really along the optical axis and therefore perfectly centred. The operator observes if the two corneal echoes and the two lens echoes are at their maximum and equally high. This A-scan can also be displayed on its own with a microsecond scale to measure distance as a function of time. Measurements can be made in millimetres using the editing tools. Move the markers to the appropriate echoes to obtain the distance between them. Other editing tools are available on the B-mode image. It is possible to position arrows and text boxes for educational or referral purposes.
It is possible to measure distances and angles on the frozen picture. To save an image, the operator simply clicks on the second pictogram in the bar at the bottom right of the screen. The position of the probe can be noted as a clock hour, either by clicking on the clock face, inside the face for a longitudinal exam, or outside the face for a transverse exam, or typed in manually. The image that has been saved goes into the image tray for the eye being examined. A movie can also be stored. In order to save memory space, it is best to crop the sequence and only save useful images. Shorten the sequence by sliding the end markers along the bar and click on the third pictogram, Save Movie. The pictograms on the lower left of the screen control how to play the movie. Hovering the cursor over the pictures displays each button's function. Images and movies in the image tray can be reloaded for further examination. Double click to load. It is also possible to examine images from a previous session performed on the same patient. As soon as patient examination is complete, clean the probe and place upright in the probe holder. For further information, please refer to the iCubed instruction manual available under the Help tab on the iCube system. Or visit the LX website at www.lx.com.